Uh, I've been calling chess and wine here. Uh, what I'd like to do with this video is just give you my broad market perspective for the week ending Friday, October 8th, two, 2010. Uh, the first chart I'd like to go through is the daily updated S&P 500 chart here. And just as a general observation, you can see uh, a point I've mentioned extensively throughout the past several weeks. Unlike at various points throughout the choppy broad trading range uh, this, that we saw last summer, where each time we'd see a sharp rally, we consolidate for a few days and then roll over. Uh, here in middle to late June, and here especially in early August, where many folks thought that this was a bullish consolidation, uh, ultimately the market would rally up sharply, consolidate for a few days, and then roll back over to the bottom of the range. So aggressive bulls buying the breakout were severely punished. Uh, and to be fair, aggressive bears who were shorting the breakdown were equally punished. Uh, what we've seen here over the past several weeks is a change in market character. The market had a very sharp rally off of the 1040 bottom here in late August, uh, and then it consolidated here for several weeks. And many uh, traders were just going on uh, what had happened over the course of the summer and argued that we were topping out here, and the, the, the market was an easy short here. Instead, the market showed you uh, it, it's giving you signs and signals that it's changing character here. The market is transitioning away from an oscillating uh, trading range of a market into a more of a trending market and that trend is up here we we uh, we had the sharp rally higher here sharp rally higher followed by a consolidation pattern uh, and another continuation higher here so this is a bullish continuation pattern followed by the next leg higher here uh, as far as the next level of resistance I'd be looking at in the short term uh, since we conquered both 1150 and 1160, 1161 this week, which is short term resistance, uh, 1172, 1173 right here with this line, I would be looking for that to be uh, the next level where I would be watching closely to see how the market reacts. As you recall, after the flash crash here in early May, we had a very sharp uh, and ultimately uh, short lived rally up to 1172, 1173, which happened to coincide. Uh, with the flattening out and down sloping 50 day moving average. So we were soundly rejected from there. We didn't come close to, to getting up to 1172, 1173 throughout the course of the summer. So I'd be uh, looking at that as the next level. But look, for the most part, the market here is uh, it wants to go higher. So I, I'm not really interested in calling a top to this market uh, anytime soon because. Um, as we've seen over the past several weeks, the top callers have uh, have been punished. The the, pe the kind of traders who have been aggressively rewarded, been uh, handsomely rewarded over the past several weeks, have been the dip buyers. And the market has shown no signs of, of slowing down. We're seeing individual names breaking out on strong volume. So I think that's the overall message of the market here. You look at the NASDAQ. And it's just a similar kind of scenario here. We've come up, we've been consolidating. Uh, each time that someone's tried to call a top, it hasn't worked out. Prior resistance here in this pink line is now turning into uh, present day support. Uh, you know, and, and even with all of the sell-offs that the, that the NASDAQ saw with all those cloud computing and technology data storage names over the past week or so, look how well the index has held up here. I think that's noteworthy. I think that shows you that the NASDAQ just does not want to roll over right now. The NASDAQ is, is absorbing all of these blows where I think earlier in the summer uh, we would have seen uh, that would have been the catalyst for uh, another sharp move lower here. Uh, the Dow Jones Transportation Index, the trannies here, uh, finally they had the big breakout here. I've been discussing this for weeks, how the trannies uh, have been flirting with the idea of a multi-month breakout here above prior resistance but they really haven't done it until this week and I think uh, this is a major step forward for the Bulls again even though uh, many uh, guys who've been around for a long time longer than me like Richard Russell the uh, Dow theorist here has argued that the, that you know the world is going to end you know relatively soon the, as I've been pointing out for months now, the Dow Jones Transportation Index, the trannies, have failed to make a lower low, even below the February lows. So until that happens, I, I am not going to buy that we're on the that we're on the verge of a major collapse. Uh, if if that's going to happen, if if eventually Bob Prechter and Richard Russell are right, we'll have we, the market will give us signals. The market will let us know that it wants to go lower, just like it gives us signals that it wants to go higher. And right now, uh, the market wants to go higher.